extinct for 65 million years. But what if they weren't? Scientists have found intact blood cells in dinosaur fossils, chicken embryos grown with teeth, dormant genes reactivated to create dinosaur-like features. We're no longer asking if we can bring them back, but when. Scientists have been looking in the wrong place for 200 years, digging up bones, searching amber, praying for miracles. They missed the answer pecking at their feet. 2015 Yale Laboratory. A chicken embryo sprouts rows of sharp teeth. Not a mutation, not an accident. Ancient code reactivating. The researcher stares at something that shouldn't exist. Dinosaur features erupting from modern birds. Because here's the bombshell. Birds are dinosaurs. Not descendants, not relatives. They're dinosaurs that survived, evolved, and forgot what they used to be. Every pigeon, every chicken, every eagle carries dormant instructions for scales, claws, and killing teeth. We don't need amber-preserved DNA. The blueprint for recreating dinosaurs has been flying around us for 65 million years. Think about it. T-Rex's closest living relative isn't in a museum, it's in KFC. We just need to flip the right switches. Scientists proved this accidentally. Chicken embryos spontaneously developing reptilian features. Teeth, extended vertebrae, unfused digits, evolution's safety locks failing. The implications are terrifying. Every bird is a locked vault of prehistoric potential. Chickens carry the code for velociraptor claws. Pigeons hide the blueprint for pterodactyl wings. Evolution didn't erase these instructions, it buried them. What happens when you wake up genes that nature spent millions of years suppressing? The technology exists, multiple labs use it. The only question, how far are they willing to push? <laughs>